Hey, it's Christine, and it's day 10 of my Drop 12 Pounds Fast Challenge. This morning, I weighed in at 114.6 pounds. So good. So I'm officially down 12 pounds in 10 days. I think I could have gotten there sooner if I didn't have that mess up on day six where I ended up eating Girl Scout cookies and cereal <laughs> and snacking, but it's the biggest learning lesson. I had to learn my lesson. I probably could have gotten there in like eight or nine days, but 10 days is still pretty good considering the mainstream diet, mainstream diets say it's average for someone to lose one to two pounds a week. To lose 12 pounds would take me like six to eight weeks and I don't have time for that. I just wanna get it done, get it fast and get skinny fast. So yeah, I'm excited. Oh my God. So today, um, I'm definitely just gonna drink water because I ended up doing a three day dry fast to drop those eight, the last eight pounds really fast. <laughs> Cause I was down eight pounds and I went up. Then I was like, holy shit, I need to get this done fast. Did a dry fast with lots of walking. So now today I'm just gonna have half a liter of water. Evian is the best cause it has natural electrolytes in it and it's got a good pH level. So I'm going to sip that slowly today. I'm going to take it easy on the walking, just maybe get one walk in if I feel like it. But overall, I feel really good. I'm definitely in deep ketosis. So um, my goal is to maintain this weight by tomorrow morning. So that's why I'm just having water. And then I'll have some veggies, just, um, you know, small amount tomorrow just to get the digestive going again. Get it ease into breaking your fast, especially doing a dry fast. And I learned that the hard way. <laughs> it just takes time for your body to get used to um, introducing water and food again and get those um, digestive enzymes going again. So if you start, like I've done this before where I ended up like just eating whatever I wanted or eating too much after a dry fast and it's not pretty. It's just a lot of diarrhea and stomach issues, and it's just yucky. And yeah, so learned from those lessons that I need to get easy after an intense fast, but overall I feel amazing. Oh my God, I'm wearing my skinny jeans today. I took some after pictures, starting to see my abs, getting some ab muscles. Although after having two kids, I definitely got some loose skin, but I think that'll tighten up over time. I'm not too worried about that. And oh my God, I barely have any cellulite anymore. When when I was much bigger, I had cellulite on the front of my thighs, the back of my thighs, my butt, and now there's nothing on the front. There's just like a little bit maybe in the back, barely. And yeah, like barely anything. It's amazing. Like I've had cellulite even in my 20s. I'm 37 now and it's just awesome. I love it. So I'm happy, my skin feels soft and it's glowing. My teeth look pretty good. My eyes are very white, <laughs> which is awesome. So the, there's so many benefits to fasting, not just for the weight loss, but so many good health benefits. All the old crappy cells get killed off and all the strong cells get stronger. So the immune system gets stronger. Oh, it's just, I love it. It's amazing. So three biggest learning lessons from this 10 day challenge. Number one, and I mentioned this yesterday, is turning wants into must. It must be, you know, top priority for you to get to your goal weight if you wanna make it happen. And that was a big learning lesson for me. Like I definitely wanted it. I had a strong desire for it. It definitely kept saying I wanted it. But when I decided, no, it's a requirement, it is a definite must that I get to 114, like I said I would, like I said I am, and here I am. Ta-da! <laughs> That's when the magic happens. Now, the reason why it's like so important for it to be a must is because then your mind goes 
into thoughts of how to make it happen. So what happened was I just decided, you know, a decision means to cut all other options off. I decided I was going to be 114. I decided I was going to drop those 12 pounds fast. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. Obviously, I was going to fast and do my, my typical two-day fast with the 500-calorie refeed <clears throat> on the third day. But I didn't know that I was going to end up doing a three-day dry fast. I've never done that before. And I didn't think that I was going to have to do... Actually, yesterday I did 30,000 steps. If I had told myself before that, that, oh, well, if you want to get to your goal weight, you're going to have to do three day dry fast and walk like a mad woman. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want it. I probably wouldn't have done it. But because I was like, all right, this is a must. I'm getting here. That's my focus. Then my mind was like, hey, we have some time. Let's go for a walk. Hey, it's nice out. Let's do another walk. Hey, uh, you're probably holding water weight. Let's do a dry fast. Like it just kind of happened. So number one, it has to be a must. Like you decide it's your choice. You tune into that frequency, that energy, and that's when the magic happens. Number two, biggest learning lesson is mistakes are the biggest learning lesson. <laughs> so on day six, I think it was, I ended up snacking before my refeed and ended up eating cookies after my refeed. Biggest mistake. And I've learned this lesson plenty of times. This is probably like the 10th time that's happened. But I just keep getting better at it and better at it. And now I am so determined not to let that happen again because it's a requirement that I do not snack before my meals. And I stick to what I'm planning to have and that's it. No more of this up and down on scale. It's a requirement. It's a must for me to stay at my goal weight at 115 no matter what. Yes. And number three is what I talked about in the first few days of this challenge is to have fun because it's way more exciting when it's just a fun challenge. And when you're like, oh, I have to fast and I have to get this weight off. That's when you just mess up and just you're all over the place and you yo-yo and blah, blah, blah. But if you're having fun and it's a must and you're just learning from your mistakes, it's perfect. That's what I learned from my challenge. So take that, take that for yourself as well. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so next steps for me. Um, definitely going to water fast today. Um, small meal tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fast um, the next day after that or just have a small meal. Probably have a small meal. Um, but gradually I'll increase my calories and that way I kind of just balance everything out and maintain at 115. I'll definitely do, um, I did a, vi I'm gonna do a full video of all my scale weights. So every morning I took a video of my weight that morning so you can see the progression and I also wrote down how many steps I did that day or any exercise I did that day and how much water or uh, what food I ate that day. So I'll have a, a full 10 day of everything that went on which will be exciting. Um, and yeah, so my other next step is I'm ready to get some other ladies to their goal weight so hit me up if you want the, the drive and the motivation and the coaching and the guidance to get you to your goal weight and maintain it. Oh my God, it's amazing to just wake up every morning and be excited to get to wear whatever I want, that I feel so much more in control. Like I'm barely even hungry, it's amazing. Just having that discipline, it's life-changing and it affects all other areas of my life. Like I'm way better at my work because like now I'm so much more self-motivated. I built my self-discipline up to like, oh my God, can you even believe it? It's just amazing. So if you want that, it's a must for you. Stop settling for less. You know you can get there. You know you can do better. You are destined to do better. If you're watching this, you're like me. You, you're a perfectionist and that's okay. It's amazing to be a perfectionist. 
not everyone is. Some people like to settle with a body that's not as their ideal body, and that's okay. But for you and I, we want the best. And this is where you're gonna get it. Coaching with me, in my energy, borrowing my mindset. I'm there with you every day through Facebook Messenger. You're sending me your scale weight uh, videos every morning. So you have that accountability. And oh my God, the, the ladies that I'm coaching, we had so much fun. We're like joking all the time, but we're serious. Like they're just boom, 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 dropping that weight. And it's so exciting to see the scale drop. I actually get more excited watching their scales <laughs> drop than like myself. Because <laughs> I know how tough it is. I'm like, oh my God, you're such a badass. You're just killing it. So link to uh, my coaching program is in the description below. Have an amazing day and yeah, I will keep updating you on tips and strategies and all kinds of things on maintaining.